guys, um, it's Isabella Illustrations here, and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be a my accepted college art portfolio video. Okay guys, so here's the first page. They're very action-y poses, which is what they're looking for. Um, I tried to make them look as smooth as I could. I used a reference from Pinterest for all of these, but I think that they're really good. I still think that I should be able to draw them without clothes on, even though that is kind of uncomfortable. I've never really done that. So my mom would be kind of weirded out if I started doing that. But anyway, it's part of learning anatomy. So drawing from observation, I'm definitely gonna have to practice because it's something that's important for learning anatomy. So anatomy is very important for animation. And then I did some females. I did one page of males and one page of females because I thought having 50-50 of each gender would represent better. So yeah, I put four on each page. This girl I don't like very much, but it got accepted. But next time I think I would have done a better girl. I was just kind of lazy at the end. Then I needed to do two point perspective drawings. Uh, I had to do two of these of one room from different angles. So I did my parents' room. Uh, I did it in this kind of cartoony style that's my own original style. I like it. I think that the two-point perspective is very good. I think it's quite simple though. Um, I gotta get better at perspective. Like I understand the basics, but I need to like start progressing and getting a bit better at it. So I'm definitely gonna be practicing that. Uh, but overall, I really love how this turned out. I think it's one of my favorite pieces in this whole portfolio. And I love how I did the pillows and everything. I love it. And then I did the second one from the other side of the room, which has the pillows from this angle, and it has a mirror with the reflection in it. And I loved that. I was so proud of myself. I'd never done really many mirror images, but I thought it was really cool. And so yeah, that's how that looks. And I'm super proud of this whole bed. I think it looks great. I'm really proud of it. The next thing we had to do for this portfolio was we had to do character expressions and poses. They had to be original characters. So I did, again, a page of girls and a page of boys. So here's the first, the page of girls. Again, good poses were what they were looking for too, but I also wanted to put include characters I felt were really cute, really nice and original looking. Each of them, I wanted them to have a different skin tone to express a different personality. I wanted it to, to show that I don't have same face syndrome or anything like that. So I did a girl who's very confident, who wants to use like a competitive person, a more calm girl, a more fun girl, more punky girl, a more farmer girl, chillax. So yeah, I did those girls and then I did these guys. I love the guys I did in this. I think they're really cute. The one ninja and then there's one guy who is on a skateboard, which is cool. Another guy doing some cool dance move. Um, a big guy here who's inspired by my dad, who has big muscles. <laughs> and then this guy who's kind of a smarty pants, but also kind of like, kind of girly in a sense. So I tried to do a lot of representation, as I said, and then I did a black man here um, and he's running. And yeah, I'm really proud of all of these. I really think they are cute. I love my characters. I think they're great. Then we had to do a sculpture of an original character. So I picked one of the boys I drew in my notebook. So I needed two pictures, one from the front angle and one from the side angle. So I did this head sculpt of his head. I think he looks great. The only thing I didn't include were his glasses. He had glasses in the original sketch. And the reason I didn't include them was because I'm not a pro at sculpting yet, so I didn't really know how to make the glasses thin enough and make them not fall off or apart. So, yeah, but he still looks amazing. I love his hair. I love his eyebrows. I love how it's 
the facial structure looks like the character that I had originally envisioned and sketched, which makes me really happy. And so yeah, I'm really proud of this. This is my, like, also one of the most amazing art pieces in this portfolio. I couldn't have done a better job. I even did the hair in the back, which I'm so proud of as well. I am just so proud of everything that I did in this book, in this portfolio, except for maybe the drawings from observation. Then I had to include um, eight pa pages of chosen pieces. So I had to pick some stuff that I felt really showed my artistic talent. So first I picked this piece that, excuse the note that's upside down, but um, yeah, I did this a few years ago, but I wanted to include it because it was so important to me to show that I could paint, um, because I love watercolor paint. This was done with watercolors, and I wanted to show them that I can do different mediums. So I did the, the trees with like a napkin to make the effects, but I also did like how the trees get lighter and lighter the further away they are. So show that also I understand perspective because perspective in environment drawings I'm much better at than perspective in buildings and such. So I don't know. I want to animate characters, not do environments, but I do enjoy making environments. So it's something fun. So that's the first piece. Um, well, first page. The second page has three pieces on it. So these are just some sketches um, of environments and I wanted to do, to showcase my style as well as my ability to do perspective and show that I understand perspective again. So I did these sketches. Um, one thing I think I could have done better was update my portfolio maybe one last time because recently my um, environments have gotten it is so much better. The quality of drawing I've done, uh, I've just gone up in skill and I feel like these just show a bit mediocrity of the starting of my style and I think my style's evolved to a better place where I could have included newer stuff in here, but I'm happy that at least I can look at this and say I have grown. So that's very good. Um, the next one I did was another page of environments. This one is also black and white, but as you can see, I did a digital version because I wanted to show them that I could do digital versions of environments as well. So yeah, the original and then here. I'm really proud of this one too. Drawing a beach is really fun. I really enjoyed that because I draw a lot of mountain ranges and stuff like that. So I felt like doing something tropical would be different to showcase um, that I could do different things and not just the same things. This one's a bit dark because it's at night, but I hope you guys can see that. Anyways, so there's mountains in the back are being lit by the moon. I love the sky I did. I think it is really, really nice. I think the stars are beautiful. I think that the light reflecting on the water is pretty cool. Um, one day I might try to get better at that too. Anyway, let's get to the next thing. The next page is a drawing I did, a digital drawing of the hydro dam near my house. This one is the best piece in this whole free and portfolio. I absolutely love this page. I couldn't have done a better job on this. I felt like it represented my style. Um, I felt like it was really beautiful and it was really original. Like it was my style. It's no one else's cartoon style, but yet this style could feel like it could be a movie or a TV show, which is what the, um, the person who reviewed my portfolio told me, he said my style was really like something you would see in a feature film, which was really motivational because I was like, I don't know, is my style really good? And he likes my environment style, so I'm really happy about that. So yeah, 10 on 10 on this one, I'll give myself, it's really great. And then the last one is my robots. I wanted to include my robots because they're original. Um, I've never seen robots quite like this. Um, I mean, yes, they look like boxes and stuff like that, but the designs that I've drawn here are original in a sense where I've never seen anything like them on screen before. So I wanted to showcase that I could 
recreate something that's different. Like, we've seen so many different types of robots in movies and television. And I wanted to showcase that I could reinvent design in a way that would be cool. And so I drew these. Really proud of these cuties. One day I want to make a short animation with these guys. So maybe one day if I get a, a project where I can create an animation, I will try and do that. So that's it for this accepted portfolio. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some insight. Um, as an artist, you can always improve. Um, the portfolio that gets accepted when you first enter art school slash animation school is going to be reflected on in the future. You're going to look back at it and you're going to be like, wow, I've grown significantly. So don't worry if you think your st style is so-so. I did too. It just takes practice, the will and determination to do it. And if you work hard, you will get... To where you want to be so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed i will see you guys in another video soon bye